Hey everyone, hope you all are having an amazing day. To make your day even more interesting, we at Intellipad have brought an interesting video on Python closures. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. The agenda for this tutorial will be looking at the following topics. First, we'll be taking a look at the prerequisites required for a closure. And then we're going to look at uh, the definition for a closure. And then we'll be looking at a simple example to explain the definition. And finally, we'll be looking at uh, use cases in which uh, closures are used. First, let's go with prerequisites. Basically, you need uh, two prerequisites for to learn about closures. They are first class function and nested function. First class function allows us to treat functions as any other objects so that we can use them to pass as an argument to another function, return the function from another function, assign the function to another variable. Basically, you're treating the function as an object or any other variable. So in the first case, you're passing it as an argument to another function. Let's say a function takes in two arguments and uh, the first argument can be a function and the second can be a number or a string uh, and so on. And in the second case, return the function from another function. Let's say in uh, function definition, you're performing some calculations and then finally you're returning a function that is defined inside the older function. And the third thing is assign the function to another variable. So you can uh, assign a function to a variable in Python. So the data type of the variable will be function. Okay, moving on to nested functions. Python supports the concept of a nested function or inner function, which is simply a function defined inside another function. And uh, you guys need to note one more thing. Uh, nested functions should not be confused with recursive functions. Recursive functions are functions which call themselves, but nested functions are function within a function. Now let's move on to definition. Okay, a closure is an inner function that remembers and has access to the variables in the local scope in which it was created even after the outer function has finished executing. Now don't worry if you don't understand this completely. I'll be explaining this with an example. And a closure can also be viewed in this perspective. A closure closes over their free variable from their environment. So free variable means, uh, let's say suppose the outer function has defined a variable and the inner function uses that variable even though that variable is not declared inside the inner function so this is called a free variable now let's move on to the example okay now first we'll be defining an outer function and let's call it outer func and uh, we'll be putting just one statement for simplicity's sake let's say message that says hi and inside this outer function, we'll be defining an inner function, which is a nested function. Let's call it inner func function or inner func for short. And here we'll be printing the message. So print and message. So uh, note that uh, the message variable here is a free variable and it is not defined inside the inner function, but it is defined in the outer function, but in Python, you can use uh, the message variable inside the inner function as well. So this is called a free variable and it still has access with inside the inner function. And then we'll be returning the inner function. So return inner underscore few and C. So now when we call the outer function, uh, like this. So the control goes to the first statement inside the function definition of the outer function. So it will execute this. So it will store the string high inside of the variable message. And then it uh, goes inside the, the control goes inside inner function and it prints the value stored in the message. And uh, then it com comes out of the inner function and then it returns the inner function. That is, it prints the message. So now if we save it and run it, it prints out high. So now it's working. And to explain the concept of a closure, let me just modify this uh, example. Let's not call the function here, but instead we are returning the function. So we are using it as an object. We are returning this function as an object. We are not calling it. If we need to call it, we need to use parentheses. So we're not calling it right now. So we are treating it as an object. 
and uh, so, so a variable needs to hold this uh, function so i'm going to store it in a in another variable and i'll just call it my function if you want to make a career in data science then intellipat has iit madras advanced data science and ai certification program this course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by iit professors and industry experts so the output of this uh, outer function will be inner function which is stored in my function variable now when we assign a function to a variable its type becomes a function and we can see this by printing it out now this says that my function is now a variable of type function so we'll just print it out and see we'll just print my func sorry my underscore function just save it and then run it so now you can see that uh, my function is a function which is named inner function so we can also do this we can just uh, get the name of the function if i just save it and run it now my function is a variable named inner func so that is the output resulted from outer function and now if i call my function and uh, remember i told you that uh, my function variable is now a function so that now we can call it i'll just save it and run it again so let's not do let's just comment this out and if i save it and run it again if i call my function it has the value it prints out the value high and uh, no, note that uh, the outer function has ended but still the my function variable holds the output return and if i just print it out again it still holds the value let me just save it and run it again so it just prints out two times so this prints out it shows that uh, even after executing the outer function the closure or the inner function still has access to the free variable that is the inner function is now called the closure which is now stored in my function so basically inner function is the closure and my function is the variable that holds the closure and it has access to the free variable that is message so, and it prints out the message hi so we can now see that it prints hi two times even after the outer function has done executing so yeah this is basically what a closure is and now just to make it interesting let's add argument let's see how arguments functions under uh, this now let's say uh, the order function takes an argument message which is a string and uh, let us have our users input the message so now let's say the message will take uh, let's assign ms msg to message and then let the inner function print out the message and now i'm going to define two other functions let it be hi hi function and then hello function and let this be let this hold the output from outer func but now as you can notice outer func takes in an argument so now we need to pass uh, arguments in both the statements so let us pass hi in the first statement and uh, hello in the second statement now let's save it and run it and see what's the output ha uh, uh we need to print this out so now we need to call this function hi function and hello function uh, variables are now functions so we need, we need to call them right now so let's just do that hi function parentheses and then hello function parentheses and now if i save it and run it it says hi and hello so yeah this is basically closures now let us move on to the last topic the last topic is the use case of where closures are used so closures are used to replace the unnecessary use of class let's say suppose you you have a class that contains only one method uh, besides the init method in such cases it is better to use a closure instead of a class and uh, the second uh, use case is to avoid the use of global scope if you have global variables which only one function in your program will use uh, think of closures and uh, define the variables in the outer function as use them and use them in the inner function and the third use case is you can use closures to implement data hiding 
the only way to access the enclosed function is by calling the enclosing function that is the outer function and uh, there is no way to access the inner function directly so you can uh, use closures for data encapsulation so it is basically an object oriented concept so that can be implemented by using closures in python and uh, closures can also be used to remember a function environment even after it completes its execution the function environment here means uh, just uh, having access to the result or the variable even after its execution and you can also access the variables of this environment later in your program and that's it guys and for further learning for uh, blogs on cloud computing and uh, devops and data science related uh, topics you can visit our uh, blog channel and we also have a youtube channel where we provide full courses and uh, live webinars and that's it guys thank you if you want to make a career in data science then intellipat has iit madras advanced data science and ai certification program This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.